Can you imagine a world where you won't be allowed to dye your hair, don fake nails or wear the clothes you like all because you're a woman? Well, welcome to Turkmenistan. Restrictions on women's freedom. Women in Turkmenistan were ordered to take away their beauty items and pay penalties of around $140. It's roughly half of the ordinary Turkmen monthly income. And why? It's a bid to mitigate foreign trends harming Turkmen traditional values. Many women also lost their jobs and work opportunities because of alleged breast implants or lip injections. Women are also not permitted to sit in the front seat of a car beside the driver. Similar bans were placed in the past, but they were never this strongly enforced. The new restriction goes a step further, forbidding jeans and any other clothing that's too tight. Police take their pictures, make a report and then find the women. Many have naturally condemned the ban, stating it robs women of their freedom. It violates their right to bodily independence and the autonomy to dress and groom themselves as they see fit. Turkmenistan was a part of the Soviet Union. The Soviets ran campaigns to abolish backwardness in Central Asia through the initiative of women's independence. But Turkmenistan sought to re-traditionalize the nation after breaking away from the Soviet Union. Women played a significant role in the establishment of a post-Soviet Turkmen identity. Experts have pointed out that Turkmenistan's concerns about women's fashion, appearance and demeanor are essentially about purity and strangely male honor. Article 29 of Turkmenistan's charter gives men and women equal civil privileges and advantages. Turkmenistan has also been part of global women initiatives. It was a part of the Fourth World Conference on Women, Action for Equality, Development and Peace in Beijing in 1995. It also signed the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. The Turkmen Council implemented the 2021-2025 National Plan of Action for Gender Equality in December 2020. However, there's a stark difference between what's on paper and reality. Women and girls are subjected to domestic abuse, to gender-based violence, sexual assault, sex trafficking, virginity tests and forced marriages. They're also barred from buying cigarettes or acquiring a driver's license. Turk women lack bodily independence and self-determination, and with the new law, instead of addressing women's issues, Turkmenistan has chosen to police what women wear. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.